Hi, I'm Denchi, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a LEMP stack in Debian 10. So a LEMP stack, if you don't know, well, it stands for LEMP, Linux, which is the operating system you're running all of this on, NGINX, which is, well, the web server, MySQL, which is a database, and PHP, which is, well, scripting language for web pages. So we're going to take a look at how to set this up. So let's go to the prerequisites over here. You need a server to host this on, which is what I have. I'm accessing the server via SSH. You need the ports 80 and 443 port forwarded on your router or modem if you have a router or modem that restricts ports like that. You need your own domain with a DNS entry set to public IPv4, just a type over there, of your server, so a domain entry, and some basic Unix knowledge. The domain entry is not necessary, but you do need it if you're going to generate an SSL certificate. Let's begin with the L. Now this I can basically skip because I've already installed Debian Linux. The only tip I give here is if you're going to install Debian 10, which is what I recommend for servers, you should download the non-free ISO if you have any non-free firmware on your server, like CPU microcode you want. It really only applies to networking stuff because when you are connected to the network, you can go into Etsy appsources.list and add these two lines, contrib and non-free, to their repository lines. Moving over to the E, which is Nginx. And quite confusingly, as noted here in the wiki, this entire article is linked in the description if you want to just follow along with this. The E in LAMP, in fact, stands for ENGINX, which is pronounced Nginx, ignoring the E. The web server and reverse proxy software used to serve HTML web pages. This is stemmed from the pronunciation of Nginx, which is Nginx, <laughs> like an engine in a car. And that's where they get the E from, which I found quite interesting. Anyway, the installation is pretty simple. Just sudo apt install nginx on Debian. As you can see, I already have it installed, so I can just skip that. Configuration is pretty simple as well. I explained this in my previous nginx video, but basically, you want to go into the directory Etsy nginx sites available. And in here, you want to put all your configurations. So I'm going to begin making a configuration, a sudo vim, I'm going to call it test.denshi.live. That'll be my domain. I'm going to put this sample configuration, so this example, one over here in here and uh, what I'm going to change in this I'm going to change obviously your domain to the name of my domain the root over here is an empty directory that doesn't exist we're going to make that later so test.denshi.live test.denshi.live and pay attention to this part we'll talk about PHP FPM or fast CGI process manager later but regardless of what you're doing you need to install this and you're going to need a version of it so most PHP based software and PHP scripts will tell you like you can have PHP 7.3 and 7.4 and 8.0 or whatever the default one in Debian is 7.3 so that's 7.3 but if you were to install the custom repository which is also included in the wiki if you want to do that you might want to install PHP 7.4 or even PHP 8 Eight. Anyway, now we can just right quit. Let's check the file. Yeah, there you go. As you can see, it's all ready. Okay, so now going back to Nginx, the reason we made it in sites available is because this directory is where you put all the configurations you would like to enable. To actually enable one of these, you have to symbolically link it to sites enabled. So we're going to do sudo ln s test that engine alive. So from this directory, or I guess more globally, Etsy Nginx sites available, test that engine alive to Etsy Nginx sites enabled. And just like that. So if you go into sites enabled, so you'll see that test that engine alive is over here. It's blue, which means it's symbolically linked. And if we cat it, it has all those contents. So basically, you want to make your actual configurations in available and then symbolically link them with the ln s command when you actually want to enable the files. Okay, so moving on to the M. Now, uh, MySQL, you can install it in Debian. There are various versions available. However, you should be using the MySQL repositories if you're even going to install MySQL. So this, these are the steps for that. But I'm not going to be doing that because instead I'm going to use something called MariaDB. So sudo apt install MariaDB dash server. Now, I'm not actually going to install it. Why? Well, because the choice of database is pretty much interchangeable. You can use PostgreSQL or SQL Lite or pretty much any database that PHP may support with the LEMP stack. So it doesn't even have to be a LEMP stack. It can be a LEMP stack or a LEMP stack, but with a different database like MariaDB. Uh, or MySQL. The only thing I want to note here that is of interest is that if you are using MySQL, then install MariaDB instead. It has all the same syntax, all the same commands, everything that is the same to MySQL. However, it's faster, it performs better, all this kind of stuff. It's just generally better. The last thing to note about databases is that you have to run them as a service, or at least to recommend running them as a daemon. So this is a reoccurring thing in self-hosting, but sudo systemctl, it's gonna just restart PostgreSQL. Another last thing to note, and this is gonna be more in the P section, is that for each database, there is a MySQL dependency. Anyway, moving on to the fun part, the P part. As mentioned before, in uh, this part over here, 
you're referencing something called PHP FPM or the Fast CGI Process Manager. Now this all works by well, installing PHP FPM. So we're gonna have to do sudo apt install PHP and PHP FPM. Once again on Debian, this installs PHP 7.3 and PHP FPM 7.3. That's the latest version available in Debian 10. So a last thing to note about the installation is that you can get custom repositories. As alluded to before, if you're using PHP 7.4 or anything else, copy paste this where you can get the latest PHP version. So PHP 8 will be what you will install if you do sudo apt install PHP once you get those repositories. Anyway, as noted before, you need the database package. So if we do sudo apt install PHP PGSQL, that's the PostgreSQL package. If installed that, it's already installed, but that basically gives us support for PostgreSQL. The same thing applies if we install MySQL or SQLite 3 for those specific databases. So if you're using MySQL, make sure to install this. If you're using SQLite 3, make sure to install this. That's pretty much it when it comes to the installation. The only thing you really need to know about PHP FPM from now on is you need to run it as a service as well, just like the databases. So sudo systemctl restart PHP 7.3 FPM, like that and it's a pretty good service. Okay, last thing. I'm gonna echo this file, so php php info, this little script over here generates a big info page for php, to a new directory. So I'm actually gonna make that directory first. I'm gonna sudo make a directory var www.test.densheet.live because if you remember, in Etsy, Nginx sites available test.ng.live, that's the root we set over here, the root. So we're gonna just echo that file over there. So we're gonna copy paste this. We're gonna do um, test.ng.live. We're gonna make this file named info.php. Just like that. It might give you a permission deny. That's perfectly normal. Uh, you might want to change the per permissions to 777 or something uh, in var www.test.ng.live. So then you can do it. There you go. And basically now, if we list var www.test.ng.live, there's one file, info.php. And nginx, because we told it this is your root, and we told it to reference the PHP FPM as we look up here, it's going to run scripts with this socket, which is running when you run the PHP service, it should be able, basically all this means is you put that thing in there, if you go to info.php in your browser, it will run it. So now we just gotta restart the services. Pseudo system CTL, restart PHP 7.3 FPM and Nginx, just like that. Now, if we go to a website, test.nginx.live, info.php, so we go to that specific part of it, you'll see that it opens up the PHP info site. It's got the 7.3 dev version, so it tells you the version, it's got all this information. So this is information on the MySQL plugins and a bunch of other things, yeah. Uh, open SSL stuff. Basically, it tells you all about its plugins and one of the plugins is, well, PGSQL. So yeah, this is how to set up a LEMP stack in Debian 10. We just serve the PHP page, which is the whole point of LEMP stack. The only thing you really wanna do from here is generate a certificate so your site is secure, which I showed at the NGINX video, just if just in case you didn't see that, sudo uh, certbot dash dash nginx dash d then test dot then she dot then she dot live. Uh, that's all you really need to know. I'm not gonna run the command because I don't need a certificate for this kind of thing. But hey, I hope you enjoyed this video on how to set up a LEMP stack in Debian 10. Once again, this entire tutorial is linked in the description. I've been Denshi. Goodbye. Goodbye.